welcome back. Welcome if you're new to the channel. I am Lauren Ringer and I am your surf coach from the House of Surf, where you can learn everything you need to know on how to surf or begin your learning to surf journey. In this video, we are going to dive deep into everything to do with surfing bottom turns. We will look at what is a bottom turn, what are the two types of bottom turns, what are the two levels of bottom turns and why bottom turns are so important, step-by-step -step guide for your forehand and back and bottom turn and a full video breakdown. Also be sure to stick around towards the end of the video where there are a few surprises and will really help you understand exactly how to bottom turn and improve your existing ones. Please like, share, subscribe to the channel if you enjoy videos like this. First up, we have what is a bottom turn? The bottom turn is a maneuver performed at the trough or the bottom of the wave, hence it is called the bottom turn. It is usually the first turn you perform after you've taken off on a wave. What are the two types of bottom turns? First up, we have our front side bottom turn. And we have our back side bottom turn. What are the two levels of bottom turns that we're going to look at today are, first up, we've got a deep bottom turn. Now this is when the surfer rides further down towards the bottom of the wave and rotates with commitment towards the top of the wave. It is a tighter turn than the minor bottom turn and it propels the surfer more vertically instead of diagonally. And a shallow bottom turn is a minor bottom turn. It's used to sweep yourself diagonally to the wave's face. The most common maneuver coming after this bottom turns are top turns, cutbacks, and roundhouses. Minor bottom turns are commonly used on the wave with softer shoulders. Now we're gonna have a little look at a deep bottom turn versus the shallow bottom turn using our surf video analysis and we will do a full breakdown so let's get started alrighty let's get stuck into this video analysis using our surfer Carla Marks on the WCT who has got an insane backhand and even better bottom turn left hand side is our minor or shallow bottom turn right hand side is our major or uh, deep bottom turn up to you how you want to label it but that is what it is and we're going to get stuck into a little bit of what is the difference okay so pretty much the setup is very similar um, what you'll notice in a second is as she comes and rotates her body up towards the top of the wave that's where she's headed and over here she's headed here it's she just holds that position like a little bit longer She's lower in a center of gravity. Um, her shoulders uh, in particular are very square to that top of the lip as she comes up. Whereas left hand side on the shallow bottom turn, she has her shoulders are squared up towards the sort of shoulder area of the wave. So slight difference there with the shoulders. And um, one of the biggest things you'll notice in a second is her leading arm, which is this part of her body is that swings around a lot sooner on her left hand side so let's just go into that one so there it goes let's highlight it there she's so swinging around she wants to transition weight shifted and she's coming off the shoulder of that turn and whereas here she's coming off the top of the turn so her shoulders watch this in a second we've got these lean arm holding a little longer and then boom that's the transition there and my goodness does she absolutely smash this way so it's just a little bit of holding that position a little longer looking at where you want to go and hit the wave choosing the right wave to use either of the bottom turns because that's going to basically allow you to do it or not um, and using that leading arm to make that transition out of the turn and holding your rail, engaging that rail a little longer for the deeper bottom turn and that's pretty much it guys. 
guys. So now you're probably wondering why bottom turns are so important. Now they're important for many reasons but the most important reasons are they are the foundation of every single turn in surfing. They will also improve every other area of your surfing and lastly they will allow you to perform strong moves off the top and with that the mechanism for speed and flow throughout. As Tom Curran said, the bottom turn is where it all begins. So now we're going to go into our front side bottom turn. We're going to break this down step by step and show you exactly how to do it. Number one, ride to the bottom of the wave where the wave goes flat. Pro tip, look down the line to decide which bottom turn will be best for the oncoming section. Number two, compress your body nice and low. Number three, lean forward and press your weight onto your toes. Number four, dig your rail and use your lean arm as a pivot and hold for a second. Number five, turn your shoulders into the wave and look where you want to turn. Six, push your back foot as you come off the bottom to steer the board. Number seven, keep your knees bent and drive up the wave's face using the speed through the transition. Number eight, rotate your hips and torso to follow the nose of the board. Number nine, extend all the way through the turn. So now it's uh, time to look at how to bottom turn on our backside with a step-by-step -step breakdown. Now be sure to follow all of the steps all of the way through because there are, there are a few differences between the front side and back side bottom turns. Let's begin. Number one, ride to the bottom of the wave where the wave goes flat. Pro tip, look down the line to decide which bottom turn will be best for the oncoming section. Number two, compress your body nice and low. Number three, lean backwards and place your weight onto your heels. Number four, place your lean arm into the water, use as a pivot and hold for an extra second. Number five, square your shoulders towards the direction you want to go. Number six, dig your rail into the water and push your weight through your legs to tilt the board. Number seven, push with your back foot as you come off the bottom to steer the board. Number eight, keep your knees bent and drive up the waist face using your speed through the transition. Number nine, bring your back shoulder and point towards the part of the wave you want to turn simultaneously fully rotating your body. And number 10, extend all the way through the turn. So now it's time to get into our video coaching. We will use a beginner to intermediate surfer bottom turn versus a pro surfer Lakey Peterson's bottom turn. And you're gonna learn a lot, let's dive in. Okay, cool, so let's get stuck into some video coaching. We are gonna use a Surfer on my left hand side, and we're going to use Lake Pearson's bottom turn on the right hand side. So let's get stuck into it. Okay, cool. So let's go into our surfer on our left hand side first. So, what normally tends to happen at this level, it's pretty common, is the body's really tall is not compressed so if you just have a little look at Lakey on the right hand side like her compression is so obvious now from here she's getting as low as she can pushing the weight through her legs through to her toes and getting really really low as she starts to engage that rail 
is if you head back to the sofa on the left hand side, she's really extended as she's going into the bottom turn. That's a big no-no, guys. The biggest reason is you're gonna have zero speed at the end of this turn. And now what you'll notice too, another little tip here is a lot of her weight is on her front foot. You know that by how the board's coming out of the water. And a little bit of a mismatch with her lower and upper body here. Lakey on the other hand is nice and flowing with her movement. Extended on her body here, coming way over her body. You'll see in a second with all that weight shifted over her board, she just about recovers. Whereas if you look at Lakey, that's that few. I love how this, the tall girls do this, they really wrap their body now. Watch this full wrap, extending out of the turn, beautiful. And then surf on the left here. Luckily she recovers, the only reason why she doesn't fall off here is she recovers with that trailing hand in the water, uses that as a bit of a pivot, because look at this, she just about holds on here and then flattens it out with putting the pressure on the fins and disengages that rail and that's how she recovers. But if you look at where her body is going, her chest, sorry, it's way over on, here, on her nose. Whereas Lakey is more extended out through that bottom turn and what you'll see now is she'll be good to go into another turn here. Whereas this surfer just about recovers and then loses all of that speed from here on in and isn't really able to execute another turn. So just go through that one more time together guys. So nice and little, really compressed that leading arm as a bit of a pivot, a bit of a balance and as you extend with that compression that allows you to go into your maneuver, that speed is what allows you to do what you want on the top or on the shoulder depending on whether it's a deep or, or shallow bottom turn. And really important to remember this is rail to rail surfing, you don't want to engage the fins engage that rail and let that guide you throughout your bottom turn. Nice one guys. Now with all that said, what is the key factor of any bottom turn? Yes, it is indeed. It is speed. It is the most important factor in any bottom turn, whether it's a deep bottom turn, shallow bottom turn, whatever it is, make sure that you get enough speed, otherwise you just won't be able to the marks on this turn here absolutely smashed it with a lot of speed and now the last important thing of the bottom turn is you need to match the desired bottom turn which is either a deep or shallow bottom turn with the correct top turn and your skill level so over here at Luwadu nice shallow bottom turn Now I want to hear from you, I want to know in the comments below how this video has helped you. Let me know with other videos you would like me to do. You can go out there and practice and have a lot of fun. Be well.